I can't do her voice because I have my throat is dry as hell. Um, okay, so she said hi. Mika was standing before me. Yeah. I didn't need a mirror to imagine the expression of uh, skepticism and annoyance on my face. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I must have interrupted you. Uh, it's, so, it's so difficult not to do her voice. So, oh, no problem. I was just sitting here. <laughs> ah, alright then. No, because now that just sounds like Yolana. Alright. We could beam with a smile. <clears throat> I was just coming to dinner. I thought it was. I was gonna. Okay. Um. That it's time. Oh. I thought that it's time already. And then it appeared to me that it's too early. And I decided to check. To check. To check just in case. Well, not the clock. Clock can't be mistaken. It's just that I misread it. Uh. She seemed to be ultimately confused <laughs> now and fell silent. I'm. Oh, look at her face. She is confused. It's about half an hour before dinner. Oh, that's great. Then I'll sit here and wait with you if you don't mind. Frankly speaking, speaking, I do mind. Oh shoot! You know, I have some matters to attend to. I stood up and quickly left without saying goodbye, ignoring Miku as I always did. She screamed something after me, or while she screamed something after me. A minute later, I got to the square and sat on the bench with the firm intention of finding a quiet and safe place uh, here to wait for dinner. Well, you we might encounter Lena or. Um, what is that mean girl's name? I can't remember. There's something, there's something in my eye. All right, I think it's the first time, first time in the last four and a half days where I felt like this. I, w I wasn't irritated because of some insignificant details, but indeed, I was really angry. I've completely stopped caring about where I am and why I'm here. I don't care how to get out either. What's driving me mad is that I always have to carry out some stupid task given by a camp leader and it's always me who gets into stupid situations and sometimes even ends up looking like a clown. If all this uh, is some alien trick or a plot of the universal mind, they better consult with their psychiatrist. I gritted my teeth and clenched my fist. And the most annoying thing is that everything that happens seems to happen by itself somehow. I'd be happy you're not carrying out bags of sugar, blah, 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 blah. Yep, I knew she was going to come up sometime. <clears throat> Who are you angry with? Uh, Ilana was standing in front of me and she smiled slightly. Nobody, really. I answered absently. But my fist gave it away. Gave me away. <sighs> Just like that. Okay, okay, it's up to you. You better tell me, why did you run around the camp the whole day with some kind of bags? I had to, I, I replied reluctantly. I guess it was food. Maybe it was. Yolanda was about to... Oh, all right, I guess it's time for dinner. I sat in relief and quickly headed to the canteen, leaving, leaving Yolanda behind. God, he is ditching everybody. He is, he is angry. I am angry. I am the Hulk. Same and thank you very much. Oh, for what? The camp leader gave me a friendly smile. But a cake, of course. Ah, uh, sure. It was at the exact moment that I understood the true meaning of saying keep your thanks to feed your cat. I, I don't even know what that saying is. Didn't anybody tell you? <laughs> this ought to be a surprise. Oh, God, that's... Is that Indian? That That's something. It's... Good Lord. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's my boy. <laughs> now I'll see dinner, you go. Dinner, the, um... Oka waved her hand, pointing at the content at the canteen. I stepped through the doorway slowly and started looking for a free place. It turned out there were plenty today, so I got the chance to eat alone. There was fish and mashed potatoes for dinner. What misfortune again? Uh, I'd be left half empty, hungry. And did didn't we have fish for lunch? Is it a fish only day today? Oh, am I about to sleep? I lay my head on my hands and closed my eyes. But soon somebody came up. <sighs> Girls, I just want to be left alone. I can't be left alone. I can't. It. It's fine. I replied without changing my position. Just tired? Yeah, a little. <clears throat> That's bad. Slavia said it seriously. Of course. You remember? Oh, you remember we were going for a hike after dinner, don't you? Have you prepared anything? Hey, it's my girl Lena. What? Where? 
I opened my eyes and lifted my head up constantly. Lena was standing by Sloppy. Oh, the hike. She was surprised. Um, didn't you know? No. God, I'm tired. Put my head down on the table and covered it with my hands. If only I could sink into the ground right, now, right away. The girls remained silent. I was left alone with my thoughts for some time, and that was fine by me. Maybe I could have sat that way to the... Oh, God. Guys, to celebrate the miraculous rescue of our friend and comrade Sherrick, we baked this cake for you all. I looked at my head idly. I really want to see where, like, all of the characters are right there. Maybe it'll happen at the end. I doubt it. Uh, I lifted my head idly and looked towards the camp leader, but couldn't see anything beyond the pioneer's backs. A second. Oh, a second. Just a second. And nothing about me. Nothing about me rescue, rescuing Shurik or gathering the ingredients for the cake. As if that's how it, all, ah, how it ought to be. Well, it would be wrong to expect anything else from our camp leader. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we won't get our share. Slavia smiled. Let's go. Lena agreed. Yeah, sure. I got up relu reluctantly and tagged along behind the girls. Uh, hold on. As we approached... As we approached... Oh, God. And now... Hey! Who is that? Why is... Oh, did she start eating the cake? Everyone started eating the cake. Oh, look at Alyssa looking beautiful as ever. And then we have... The bullshit child. Hold on. No, let's go back. And then we... I don't even know who that one is. To be honest. But that's Lena. And that's me. You know. Sound like you guys didn't already know this. Alright. Camp leader wasn't able to finish full... Uh, finish as Yunlana rushed out in the pioneer crowd. And dive into the cake. There's actually no crowd back there. Don't know what you're talking about. She managed to nibble a few times before she was pulled away. She was kicking and screaming... <laughs> <laughs> I stared blankly from the outside of all this drama. Alyssa smiling. Lena picked up some cream with her finger. All the fears behind here surround. <laughs> I felt completely out of place here. I thought if I close my eyes now, open them again. Here I am, back to safety in my own apartment in front of my computer. In front of a computer. Nope. I blinked, but nothing changed. Only the noise and the confusion became sharper. You love it. That's the limit. Whatever that means. I... I just... <laughs> well, in fact, behaving like this is a bit over the top, even for her. Shirk broke into, broke into the conversation. Or is it a court martial? Please, Olga. Since the cake is celebrating my return, it's no big deal. He hesitated. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <laughs> the camp leader turned to Yolanda. And you! Today, I'm going to punish you for the full assistant. So you'll behave next time. What am I doing? I, it's really difficult now. Ah, whatever. She snorted and turned back. You won't be going to a hike with us tonight. As if I wanted to. I was more than willing to switch places with Yolanda and skip the hike instead of her, but who knew? If I have guessed before it, I would have been the first one to go berserk or smash a damn cake. After a couple minutes of confusion, the pioneers started to disperse. So I'm going to eat the cake. Alright. So... Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys made the cake, baked the cake, sent me on this bullshit quest, and then after Yulana does her thing, no one's going to touch the cake. <laughs> Don't be late. Yulana was standing at the table when I approached her on my way to the exit. So why did you do it? She looked very upset. She had, she had a right to be so. <laughs> I wanted to. Yulana replied abruptly. So you're happy now? Of course I am. And you, good luck with the hiking. She smiled mischievously, sprang up and rushed out of the canteen. Well, a bit of luck would it help hurt? Oh my gosh. Uh, walk and you shall reach. Alright. <laughs> Somehow I couldn't just manage to argue to pretend that I'm sick or just to skip it without a reason. The events of this day were taught me some submissiveness although the time sometimes whenever that was happening not made no sense to me oh it's a blue man it's a blue man up there it's a it's a blue man as i walked in i had a thought well in fact how should i get ready <sighs> clothes i only have an overcoat and a pair of jeans 
Anyway, I forgot to ask whether it's going to be an overnight hike or not. I couldn't think of anything better, so I grabbed the sweater that I had on me, and I've arrived at the camp. The night might be fairly chilly and shuffled slowly off the square. Ooh, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do ASMR next time. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Believe in me, guys. All the camp was already that was already there, although it was about 10 minutes before the Olga had designate, designated. I settled down near the edge and waited patiently. Night was falling. I viewed the outside, and I'm not reading all of this. It seems everybody's here. Great. I was so tired that I couldn't even think about anything, so I ended up just listening to the camp leader. Now today we go hiking. It is essential for everybody near to be able to come rescue this combat. But I already, I already did. I already did this. I don't need to do it again. I don't need to do it. I got deeply scared. I am not doing this together. No. I refuse. I will not do it. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll walk in Paris. So if you haven't chosen a partner, oh, you, hey, Alyssa, I know you're here. I know you're here, Alyssa. Same, and the voice of the camp leader pulled out, out of me out of my thoughts. I went up to her reluctantly. I see that you haven't found a partner. Seems like it. <laughs> but you'll, then you'll join Zinya. She is all alone. I was stuck with that special kind of despair. What <laughs> a true loner can experience. So it appears I'm left with the prickly librarian that I wouldn't risk spending a couple of hours with, even if I was paid for it. Although, we both seem to be in the same boat now. I slowly approach Zinya. Well, I guess we're gonna be together. She looked at she looked up at me. Don't you even <laughs> don't you even think that I'm glad? Said Zinya seriously. Why on earth? Why on earth you should wait? Why on earth you should feel glad? Ah, they should have found some more, you know, English for that. I asked Nate. Night, night, night. Nay, I don't know. <sighs> Never mind. It would be much better if you just shut up. Eh, it couldn't get any better than this. I turned back and and on me and followed the other pioneers. I haven't seen any special reason to walk in pairs. Um, anyway, we were walking the trail and other, other stuff was happening. The librarian seemed to be perfectly okay with them. Hey, don't you know when we'll reach our destination? Uh, our what? <clears throat> the place where we'll settle down and set up camp. The whole point of this hike isn't to set up a camp, but the hiking itself. You don't get it. Yeah, it seemed like I didn't understand the, uh, understand a thing about hiking. I guess you're right, but still. I don't know. She replied sharply and quickened her pace. I like how they made her just a little bit further away. Oh. I caught up with her and asked, Listen, why are you always so... I was about to say mean, but stop short. I haven't done anything bad to you, and I'm not going to. She glared at me in surprise. Anyways, so... What? Well, you know, unsociable, kind of. Or is it something about me? Oh, cut that stupidity out already. As you wish, my lady. I decided to start a conversation with her for the first time of the hike. Oh, I haven't seen this scene before. At last, Olga decided to spend this Sisyphean toil. Alright. It's time to halt. Slime the holds. The place turned, chose to turn out to be quite a large glade with few trees. Obviously, the hikes are a tradition in this camp. Of this camp, I was sent to gather firewood together with the other boys. Be, be surprised if, wait, be surprised if, all if, the. All right, so it's not just me. I thought I was just screwing up these sentences. <laughs> what are you think? Oh, what are you thinking about? Slavi sat next to me. Oh, nothing special. Just enjoying the hike. I like the background music to this. This is very... It's serene. It fits the scenery. It makes me want to play Skyrim. Hmm. You don't look too happy. Oh. Well, I'm not about to jump for joy. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I won't disturb you. She sat with me for a while, but after realizing that I wasn't in the mood of talking, she left me to enjoy my introspection all alone. 
and all I wished for was to lie down in bed and sleep as soon as possible. They were cheering and laughing in general, enjoying this warm summer event. Uh, in the far side of the glade, I noticed that Lena was arguing with Alyssa intensely. Intensely, and Lena se seemed to like complete opposites to me. <laughs> Slavia had left to go somewhere after our conversation. It seems, Electronic and Shurik were trying to were trying to furiously to prove something to Olga. Looks like I'm the only one that who doesn't belong here. <laughs> Try to find out what Alyssa and Lena are arguing about. Do nothing. Stay. Oh man. Oh, hold on. Where's my? Oh, God. Trying to find out what Alyssa and Lena are arguing about. Let's do it. Only Alyssa and only Lena and Alyssa stood out among this splendor. Of course, it was quite natural for Alyssa to be arguing with someone like that. But hearing Lena talk in a raised voice, I came closer silently, trying to understand what is going on. Oh, wow, that is a face I haven't seen before. <clears throat> no, you listen to me. I think whatever you want, you've said everything. Oh, I guess she has a country accent. Oh, look at my hat. It's not my hat, it's my brother's hat. Which doesn't make sense, because he's not 21. I am. It, lo uh, it looks serious. I tried as hard as I could not to attract attention and like and look like I'm just standing there with no to Oh god. There's nothing to even talk about. Everything is as clear as day. Mm. Uh, don't try to wind down. Uh, don't try to wind me around your little finger like that. I know you too well. <laughs> why? Of course you know everything. Uh, that's why you won't tell him yourself. Tell who? Who are you t Hey, Alyssa. Hey. I need to know your secret. Alyssa snorted, turned around, and her eyes met mine. Seconds later, Lena gave me a look as well. The girl stood there in confusion for some time. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, hold on. So, Lena isn't as... Oh, she's not as innocent as everybody thought she was, or I thought she was. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> You're eavesdropping? Is that how you spell it? I swear there's an I in there. Me? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was just, like, passing by. I put out the best smell I had, but it didn't seem to help much. <laughs> by the way, today he was peeping at me. Alyssa gave him a malicious smile. Oh, sorry. A little sick. <laughs> Lena looked at me questioningly. First of all, why would she believe this devious Potts' story? I didn't peep. You know quite well that it was an accident. Yolanda should, should be the one to blame. <laughs> should it was. Tell that to the cops. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it seemed like my excuse was not working. <laughs> oh! Woo! I did. Kind of. They were... They should have put detail in them, to be honest. A shiver ran up my spine. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> true? <laughs> Lena looked at me imploringly. Well, you see, it, it was an accident. I didn't see anything there. You did it! Well, <laughs> I can show you again. Alyssa cried in anger. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> you see? Oh, you see? I told you. No. No. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just time in my head. Alright. Um, Lena started to mumble and rushed away a moment later. <laughs> Wait. What is happening? <laughs> I shouted after her. <laughs> you, see what the, you, see, you see what you did? That gun is upset now. <laughs> she gave a spiteful smile. First of all, it wasn't me who upset her. Second, I don't have any idea what you two were arguing about. I was running out of patience. <laughs> Why should I tell you? It seemed like she thought that our talk was over and was about to leave. I grabbed her hand abruptly. Alyssa glanced at me in fear but didn't say anything. I was angry at the moment. Really angry. That's why I grabbed her hand. Seductively. ASMR seductively. <laughs> First, I was uh, I was widely enraged that Lena was upset of me, even though I was kind of actually I was guilty, basically. Um, second, I was enraged by Alyssa's insolence. Third, I was so tired I was about to lose my temper at the smallest thing. You happy now? 
<laughs> I hissed pointing at the darkness where Lena had ran off. You only seem to have the guts to bomb memorials and hurt innocent girls. She looked frightened, saddened, and confused at the same time. <laughs> she herself could hurt anyone. <laughs> you just don't know her. The only truth here is that I don't know her too well, but I'm <laughs> I'm absolutely positive that we or that she wouldn't hurt anyone. That's your job. Good lord. I held Alyssa's hand and didn't know what to do next. The solution dawned upon me all by itself. You have to go and apologize. I'm pretty sure apologize uses a Z. That's an S. <sighs> Why the hell should I? Oh, Alyssa tried to act as arrogant as always, but it wasn't going to work this time. Cause I said so! I'm the boss of this house! <laughs> I refused to hear the objections and dragged her to the side of the bonfire. Oh god, I'm sorry. We have some urgent business to deal with, so we have to leave early. The guidance officer tried to object, but I didn't listen and headed, and headed after Lena, pulling Alyssa along with me. After some time, I released her hand. Any objections? <laughs> All the pride of and arrogance had left Alyssa's face long ago. If you... If you... Wait. Oh. What is what is happening to her body right now? Um, <clears throat> if you wanted me to come with you, I, I, with you, I will, but I have nothing to apologize for. Uh, I, I told her the truth. Oh, God, you know what? I lost my Russian accent a while ago. I'm not focused. So, uh, we'll see about that then. <laughs> I cut her short. <laughs> We'd have been walking in silence until we entered the camp. We came up to the square and I asked Alyssa, Where do we go next? How should I know? <laughs> and who said... <laughs> Alyssa hesitated. Well, she would be at the island. She often goes there when she wants to be alone. Excellent! We headed to the pier. Night came down on the camp and I searched for paddles and pottered about with the ropes. One boat was... Oh, wait, what? One boat was actually missing. Okay, so okay, today is your lucky day. You get to do you get to do several killer exercises that'll build up your biceps, triceps, and other arm muscles. I kind of feel bad a little bit, but I understand, Salmon. <laughs> Are you serious? Alyssa cast a fearful glance at me. Well, perhaps I was a little too rough, even for her. <sighs> All right, I I won't make you row, of course. That hardly sounded confident. Swinging the paddles appeared to be much harder this time. Well, that's not surprising, considering that today I must have already filled my annual rowing quota. I stopped in the middle of the river to catch my breath. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's... Oh, I'm getting lightheaded. Oh, my God. Oh, my... I'm getting lightheaded. The camp was... Oh, my God. I'm actually getting lightheaded. Wait. Oh, wait. Alright. The camp was covered by night, a trivial and ordinary night. It was one of those nights where the dark skies, sky, stars, and crescent moon, and you're not, I don't care. I was staring into the darkness, trying to make out the shadowy island. How did you get to know her? Alicia shivered a little. <clears throat> we grew up together. She answered slowly after some hesitation, and ended up at the same pioneer camp? What a fabulous coincidence. All these questions mysteries and fears had all been so well hidden so far suddenly spawned in my head damn i could just throw her out of the boat and drown her oh save me please don't don't do this don't do this i could demand answers although uh it could be dangerous oh but still i thought it was a time and i'm not reading all that so what kind of camp is this Lissa stared at me blankly where where are we why am i here she kept silent answer me I shouted, Hey, what's wrong with you? If you want me to apologize to Lena, I will. <clears throat> God, it's not working. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use my voice for the rest of the time. Um, that's when I realized how stupid I was acting, to say the least. She could simply be an uninvolved in all and that all that stuff. And what's more, one can't lie that convincingly. Alyssa's fearful expression was yet another reason to believe her. That's not how you spell believe. You're missing an E there, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I was always able to say at the moment, 
Yet I wanted to keep the my advantage. The last few meters were really tough. Ooh, it's nighttime now. Wait. Where is this? Is that the camp? That doesn't even look that far away. You could swim there. Uh, exhausted, I got out of the boat and laid on the cold ground. Alyssa stood nearby, staring at me. I thought she was about to go to me to, or utter some barb criticism, but uh, so many words I don't understand. Even though it was rather dark here, I could. it would be easier to hide my old flat than on this tiny... My old flat? Furthermore, Linda must have already heard us as we were crossing the river, so by now it's already too late to ask Alyssa any more questions, even though I still had some. Listen, I looked at her but saw nothing. It was a dark night and I didn't have cat's eyes. Well, when we find Lena, you're going to tell her you, you never want to hurt her feelings and everything that happened in the morning was nothing but a misunderstanding, okay? My voice didn't sound as confident as it did a couple of minutes ago, but confident enough. Although Alyssa said nothing, it was clear by the look at her face that she agreed. I stood up and we went off to find Lena. <clears throat> Alright, her boat was tied to a snag on the far side of the island. It was very clever of her. One wouldn't see the boat from afar, I mumbled. Well, that means she's somewhere in the trees. Let's find her. I headed to the I headed to the grove, but Alyssa stood still. What's up? I thought we discussed everything already. Er, it's not that. It's just that it's dark in there. I had to strain my eyes to make out her face. The groves is smaller than my grandmother's daisy garden. What is there to be afraid of? Alyssa didn't answer. If you want to know what I'm thinking, I would gladly just leave you here. I know. I never know what trick you're up to. Well. She came very close to me. <laughs> Let's go like this. She took my hand. Oh! Thumbnail! Wait. How do you... That, how do you thumbnail? I for, is it space? No. Uh. Oh, God. I forgot how to do it. Is it this? There we go. Thumbnail. Alright, we're back. I hadn't expected this outcome. My cheeks turned red hot and my breath was taken away and I could barely say anything. The whole situation in a favorite conversation, which was probably the best, since I doubt I would... Uh, I can't... I can't read. I can't read. A couple of moments I gave him some self-control. Come here. This is really nothing to be afraid of. We came here during the day gathering some strawberries. No big deal. Just a normal birch grove. It's really nice here during the day. I decided to add a short pause. Or after a short pause. Alyssa didn't look at me. She was staring somewhere in the distance. Well, it's up to you after all. A few moments later, she pointed somewhere in front of us. There she is. I peered into the darkness but could barely see anything. Oh, she's... Oh, she's crying. Oh, I can't. Oh, she's really upset? What the heck? Why have you come here? She asked tearfully. And you? She looked at Alyssa but didn't finish the sentence. At that moment, Alyssa released my hand. Well, you see... God, I can't... Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. I just wanted to apologize for not for being somewhat harsh and rude. Alyssa interrupted me. Her voice had regained her usual arrogance of hers. Maybe it's because she didn't want to look weak in front of Lena. Lena. What a perfect apology. Not walking the walk, are you? <laughs> How clever of you to insist that I'm doing bad, doing a bad thing, but then you do that same thing yourself, huh? She switched to shouting uncontrollably. You got it all wrong. I get what I've seen. Er, you see, girls, you're arguing again, and I seem to be somehow involved in all that, but I don't understand a thing. <laughs> explain it to him. Lena said to Alyssa with a grin. There's nothing to explain. Well, maybe you'll let me have a try then. Oh, wait. Whatever. She crossed her arms over her chest and turned away. Well, well then, Samen. She blamed you for pursuing me. For a minute, there was a complete silence. <laughs> I have this gigantic smile right now. Lena didn't look 
didn't look like explaining any further. And as for me, I stood still trying to assemble the scattering pieces to the puzzle into a whole. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. It's not like it's not like that. Uh, that's not what I meant. Interrupted Alyssa. Of course. You've always been like this. Lena burst into tears again. Wait, how come? So, Lena likes me? And you, what about you? <laughs> you're trying to convince me that it's all wrong, but you're just holding your ha holding his hand. What? So Alyssa likes me too? Oh, come on. Alyssa actually liking someone? This can't be happening. It's just that it was dark in here and... <laughs> so like you. Always so arrogant, always turning to control others, and when it comes to yourself, Alyssa didn't answer. I really felt like I had something to say to defuse the situation. What? Hey, wait. Perhaps we just got it all wrong. I. <laughs> this has not. <laughs> this has nothing to do with you. Alyssa's voice was oddly distant. Judging by the conversation, this has everything to do with me. God, hold on, hold on, guys. <laughs> This sucks, because it's like Good Man Brain, the, uh, my referencey guy who comments on all of these videos, like, he meant, like, he said, and I mentioned this before, like, they don't put a face on Saman, so it feels like that you're Saman, so in this situation, I feel like I'm in this situation, and I, I, it's really hard for me right now, because I don't know what this situation feels like. And if this is really coming at me at a at an angle, it's coming at me sideways, and I it's 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 a lot to take in. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Um. Okay. <laughs> God. Let me, let me get into. Um... <sighs> yes, it does. Ask her what she thinks of you, and why she told me not to go after you. I don't think Lennon was actually going after me. I'm telling you, once again, I... We heard enough of your story already. Oh. Oh, no. Lena. Uh, oh, no. I follow Lena now. Lena now. Oh, no. What is all this about? My cluelessness. Guess we'd better let her be alone for some time, I guess. That didn't sound so very confident. Whatever. Without another word, Alyssa headed back to the boat. Dot, dot, dot. Are we back on the boat? Okay. The whole way across the river to the pier was a hell of a trip. I had to stop every 10 or 20 meters to take a break. Alyssa was staring at the river and didn't pay any attention to me. Well, this seems to be the first situation here in the camp that is completely beyond my comprehension. Even though I ultimately, even though ultimately it, it is just a trivial everyday situation. I wasn't this confused even during the all night exp expedition to the old camp. After all, if you have a closer look, there isn't anything strange here at all. Lena's very shy, and perhaps even introverted person, yet she's human and can't completely avoid normal human developments. Considering that, her reaction fits the situation quite well. Even though, you know, even if I don't try to get the source of the quarrel, it's... It's clear as day that the girls would not behave like this. Behave like that if they didn't have a good reason. And as things were standing, I was the reason. And that's the strangest part about this whole situation. Hey, uh, I'm sorry it went that way. If only I hadn't overheard your conversation. It seemed like I wasn't feeling a patholo I was feeling a pathological need to excuse myself. It's not your fault. It's it's not your fault at all. She said absent mindedly. It's just that you appeared in the right place at the right time and restarted the mechanism that had stood uh, still for a long time. I don't... Of course, basically, there was a gap that stood between them before. I mean, probably, like, in their childhood, most likely. Uh, and now that Saman's here, they both liked him. They both like Saman, and that kind of, you know, triggered that mechanism where it's like, now they're fighting over somebody, and uh, it's, it's like that. Actually, you shouldn't right now. <laughs> You'll get it later. Oh, God. Um, she cast an intense glance at me. Damn it! Why does this always happen to me? Both at the school, college, trouble seems to have chosen me as its primary target. 
Someone blocked the classroom's door with a mop. I get a re re reprimand in my in my mark book. There was a fight. All things considered, I must have started it. Failed an exam? Well, of course that's my fault, and the teacher who hates me has nothing to do with it. Even my parents seem to be seem to prefer blaming me rather than unfair. Oh God! At some point, I even started to believe that I somehow I somehow do attract trouble. Remember Murphy's Law? In any case, it was like that if something's nasty going to happen, it's going to happen to me. For that reason, I always tried to stay out of any trouble where I could where I could become the whipping boy. So well, judging by today, it's really uh, I'm not really good at it. It seems that it seems that like you've gotten an aura of some sort. You do attract attention. Surprised, I looked at Alyssa. She was smiling. <laughs> Looks like she can she can read my mind. Trouble mostly. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> she said dream dreamily and st stared at the river. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's a wonder. It's a wonderful night, isn't it? Just like any other, if you ask me. I felt used up. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, it's just an ordinary night. Nothing special. The best moment to make our most admirable, ad admirable, ad admirable, admirable, God, I wow, admirable camp leader. <laughs> really happy. <laughs> she she has to know that her favorite pioneer is in a na is a nasty pervert who enjoys peeking at naked girls. Something snapped his. Oh God. Oh, what did you say, Saban? Okay, you aren't serious, are you? Like, why? Of course I'm serious. She didn't look like she was joking at all. Well, suit yourself. Uh, this think this is the best time to do that? <laughs> aren't you supposed to row? I realized that our boat was still drifting in the river. Wait, don't dodge my question. <laughs> ah, I'm sick. Uh, let's get back to the camp. <laughs> I have a moment to. I have a moment to think it over. Getting to spend an entire night on a boat wasn't something I would aspire to do. Expire to, so I had to apply myself to the paddles. Whew, we really made it to up to the pier. I was exhausted both because of the rowing and because Alyssa's intent to tell Olga about this morning's incident. If I know our camp leader, her reaction will be quite predictable. So, you are actually going to visit Olga right now, aren't you? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> she gave her most roguish smiles. It's night after all. She must be sleeping already. Who knows? She might be awake. She might well be awake. Okay. Come on, you know full well there was a coincidence. The simple misunderstanding triggered by Yulana. No, I don't. She flung her arms up and headed to the camp. I gathered all my remaining strength, jumped up, and followed her. At first, I considered grabbing her arm, but then I realized it might be not such a good idea after everything that has happened today. Hold on. <laughs> I trust un- in Oh, God. Ugh, let's talk this over. Is there anything to discuss? We suddenly walked along, e along each other for some time. At least she walked slowly to... Hey, is there anything I can do to convince you not to tell Olga? Not sure, but... Well, there is there is one there is one thing. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright, let's see. We came to up to the square. So what is it? Well, stop chasing Lena, for instance. For God's sake, <laughs> we just think I'm chasing Lena. Well, I did chase Lena instead of uh, Slavia. Which, to be honest, I kind of dodged Slavia for like this entire time. Even though he was blatantly interested in her, I completely dodged Slavia <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Why are you making up such nonsense? You started that quarrel in the forest because... You had to go up to the island, and here we go again. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm putting my foot down. <sighs> I'm not chasing her. Oh, God. Hold on. Are her eyes red? Oh, that does... I am scared. Alyssa stood still. Bright, mo oh, bright moonshine lighting up her face, which showed evident signs of resentment and displeasure. <laughs> like, I don't see how you look at her. How do I look at her <laughs> like that? Like what? You know, she shifted her gaze but remained standing still. Hey, stop seeing everyone through your twisted imagination. If you can't stop making them nonsense stories, 
uh, then at least keep to them yourself. Uh, don't make others suffer because of you and your stories. I don't care if you pick on me, but now you got Elena involved. Lena involved. Let's see. I really lost my temper for good, and Alyssa did, but Alyssa didn't answer. We sank to an unexpected silence that was only broken by Alyssa's spare sobs. From bad to worse, and now you are crying. You are not the father. Have you gone all mad here? I clasped, I clasped my hands in despair. I couldn't understand why Lena was crying, but seeing Alyssa crying is unthinkable to say the least. Candy, oh, they couldn't like change the scene to make her cry a little bit. Um, I can't even see her reasoning. That's because you're that stupid protagonist that doesn't know when a girl likes you. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. All right, my mind was absolutely blank. To be precise, it was so heavy and full that not even a single idea could have had the chance to dwell here. Uh, this and desolate four. Okay, Alyssa kept silent. At least she stopped crying. If you really think, is his belt on? His belt's on. Okay. If you really think it's so serious, go ahead and tell everyone to Olga. Oh, it makes you feel better. Okay, I won't do it. She said quietly and turned to me. Oh, oh, uh, she's mad again. The tears were all gone, but her face seemed to express absolute sorrow at the world. I'm just feeling hurt. What hurt you? I asked her tiredly. It's always like that. <laughs> she gets all the attention and always pushes me aside. I had difficulty understanding what she was talking about and decided to play along. Well, of course she gets all the attention. She is the shy girl. Like the shy girls usually get all the attention. The mean girls usually get all the resentment and nobody likes her. She's doing this for attention, but she doesn't know how to express her feelings. Boom. Psychologist 101. Uh, hopefully she didn't leave me alone. <laughs> Wait. Hopefully she'd finally leave me alone. That's not true. You do draw attention and, attention and people don't overlook you. I don't. I raised, I raised my eyes and looked at her. Her facial expression was a mixture of amazement and expectation. See? Oh man, now you got the freaking kawaii. Kawaii! Kawaii! Stupid ass. I, I hate you developers. I hate everyone who made the art style. For any art in this freaking stupid, stupid visual novel. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. So you, could you? All of a sudden her voice became so tender and that I flinched in astonishment. Alyssa's face turned red and she hit her eyes. So, you really think that I'm as good as her? I wanted to say something like even better, <laughs> but stop myself. Yes, I do. Uh, it seemed like she didn't understand that I said it in absolute ins insincerity. Insincerely, okay. All right, time to sleep. Let's just suddenly, ye suddenly yell cheerfully. H have I ever seen her smile like that? I don't think so. Uh, wait. Is this is my face cam sir? Yeah, it's still recording. Uh, now that she was acting more like herself again, <laughs> see you tomorrow. She waved her hand and ran away. I sighed in relief. Well, it was over for today. All my remaining energy was wasted on a sprint to Olga's cabin. Ooh, there was no light, so trying to wake up the camp leader, uh, trying not to wake up the camp leader, I undressed quietly and laid down. And what was going to happen next? Oh, there's a six day? Day six? Hello? Why is Alyssa here? Did, did I get an ending? Did I get a good ending? It's happening. I woke up early when Olga was still asleep. I stretched up. I stretched and sat up in the bed. I felt surprising. Surprisingly okay, although I should have slept through the day. Quietly, so not to wake up the camp leader, I left. I forgot about the clock, but it seemed like six or seven in the morning. The camp was asleep. The grass was shaking off the night dew. Uh, a light fog hung over the ground. I took a deep breath. And everything was happening. More water. Let me see some other stuff. He's walking. Now he's at the camp. I saw someone sitting at the pier hanging their feet in the water. Uh, Alyssa. Really? Of all people? I came closer to stop. Not sure what to say. Then she suddenly turned around and stared at me. <laughs> been standing here long? Oh, been standing here long. No, not really. Why aren't you asleep? Why aren't you? <laughs> she turned back and stared at the river again. Looks like I'm not even only What in a good mood today. <laughs> she was she was she wasn't being sassy again. Can't sleep? <laughs> I I see. Um 
about yesterday? Uh, you get everything right? What exactly? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> My answer didn't seem to go down well. Alright, I did. <laughs> I lied. Alright, good. She suddenly... Wow, I just did two accents. That's... I'm terrible at this job. <clears throat> she suddenly looked straight in the eye and smiled. Hmm. Let me see. Matarasha. Matarasha. I have to kill the goats. And I have to refuel, refuel my check accounts. And in that case, I have to plan for you tonight. Eh? May I ask what they are? <laughs> you don't need to know. Well, since I'm a part of them, then uh, <laughs> you'll know when it's time. Can you give me a hint at least? <laughs> nope. She got up. I never re realized how orange her eyes are. They look red in the other uh, scene. She got up and walked towards me. A bit scared, I cleared the way. Don't do anything stupid, Alyssa said, moving away from the boat shed. I wonder what she meant. And what are those plans? I had no wish to become so part of terrorist act of Mogget Mogget. <laughs> Besides, I was still haunted by yesterday's talk with Lena on the island. She's probably still angry, and I never managed to explain anything to her. Uh, you're talking. Breakfast. We're eating breakfast now. Uh, oh, good morning! <laughs> she seems a little bit worried. I looked up and saw Lena standing in front of me. She was smiling. You, too. All of last night's flashed before my eyes. Listen, <laughs> if this is about yesterday, please don't. She interrupted me sharply. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what came over me. It was all. <sighs> Just forget it. She stared at me. Lena seemed much more confident than usual. If only it was that. If only it was all that simple. <laughs> there's nothing to be comp there's nothing complicated about this she sat down next to me so close I felt a bit awkward but made no attempt to move away from her <laughs> sometimes I have disputes with Alyssa yeah I realized <laughs> I see but in this case it happened because of me who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> she answered lost in thought so that's why you know I'm embarrassed <laughs> perhaps I really am to blame or rather, I'm not trying to say that I am to blame, but I was trying to explain myself like a fifth grader to a teacher. <laughs> okay, don't. As if I said, as I said, nothing serious happened. If you think so, <laughs> you should think about how. Uh, but, uh, uh, you should think about how to act from now on. Oh, not again! Not again! I cover my face with my hands, <laughs> clearly showing that I have. Absolutely <laughs> no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Could you express yourself any clear? <laughs> what for? <laughs> she said evasively. Look, if I don't know what I did wrong, I can't do better. I can't decide on how to act as you say. <laughs> I think you'll understand. I would like to believe- I, I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Um, I would like to believe that as well, but... Oh, it's all good. The canteen door slowly flew open and Olga came out. Sitting down, around hungry this evening, this early. She said playfully. <laughs> good morning, Alina said merrily. She got up and smiled and headed inside. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, sure. Look at all these smug ass bitches. Uh, we were not alone, but partners appeared out of nowhere and flooded the place. By the time I got my breakfast, Linda was already sitting around Miku, Zinya, and Slavia. Sadly, there was no more free chairs on their table. Feeling down, I desperately say, by deliberately not saying hi to anybody, I headed to my favorite place in the far corner of the canteen. That must be you all the way back there. Of course. Sure. Um, I chewed on my oatmeal. It's really chewy today. All the pioneers seem to be here. Some were chatting, like electronic assuring. Uh, were Im Im immersed in chewing, <laughs> and some were gawping, gawping. Ugh. I was just about to leave when Yolanda jumped over <laughs> my table. Damn it. <laughs> bon appetit! She blurted. Stealing again? <laughs> I asked, openly staring at her tray. <laughs> a growing body requires a lot of calories. Yeah, you should, you should grow up a bit. I whispered. <laughs> what? I didn't think she'd heard me. <laughs> Nothing. I headed out. Oh, leaving so soon? She yelled at my back disheartenedly. I gave no answer. 
I should have taken the washing up stuff back in, but I, uh, whatever. Words. Words are happening. Oh. Uh, I left the camp leader's cabin and paused for a moment and heard a voice calling out to me. Oh, God, excuse me. How far are we? How far are we? Okay. Uh, same in... God, it was Slavia. <laughs> Busy? No. Can you help me? Of course. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to look for answers. A couple of dozen hours um, would it get my situation after all. Change my situation after all. <sighs> what is it? You should stop by the cybernetics club. I don't exactly know why. They'll tell you everything. Oh, it's the cat girl. But no, we're skipping everything. We got to go see the cat girl. Electronic said, said a bit. Um, wait, did he say something? Oh, wait. Say, man. <laughs> he said a bit. I mean, okay. Let's get from the contraption. He said he'd be poking at the screwdriver. Slavia sent me. <laughs> I know. And? What? The second door opened and sure it came in. Seaman. He greeted me with the same tone electronic hat. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> well, the last time I checked, I joked. So what do you need from me? <laughs> we have an important task for you. <laughs> I listen. I'm listening. The nurse came by yesterday. He stopped as if he wasn't going to continue. So... I asked carefully. Um, so, so we have an important mission for you. I got that already. You were to deliver a package to her. Can't you do that yourselves? The infirmary is literally right over there. I said skepti skeptically. We can't. <laughs> like trying to say surprised. What a weird couple indeed. I see. Not not another heavy bag, I hope. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing like that. He smiled. Alright, fine. I carefully agreed. Hold on. Shrek disappeared through the door and soon came back holding something wrapped in paper. <laughs> Just be careful. Alright, alright. I took the package if the pioneers were passing the key to the pearly gates. Can I go? Of course. Oh, of course. Electronic said threateningly. Oh god. Just be careful. <laughs> look, at his, look at his face. God. I can't take him seriously. Shrek pleaded. Uh, outside, I took a look at the package. They never told me not to open it. Although, it would seem for me to go further on. Just get there. Get there. Get there. Nobody nobody cares. Nope. I wrapped the bottle back up and scratched my, my head. This isn't weird anymore. This is just stupid. So stupid I couldn't handle- Okay, what happened? I opened the package and saw a bottle of, s of vodka. Oh, uh, okay. So what? Pioneer's bringing a bottle of vodka to the nurse? Or rather, I'm doing it for them. Okay, happens every day. <laughs> I stood there for a while and longer and I shouldn't- Okay. Uh, thank God Olga was not here. I snuck aside and began to rifle through the contents of the table drawer. Soon the vodka was in a soda bottle. <laughs> While its place was uh, some of the water for the plants. Alright. Happy with my clever plan, I went out and skipped along <laughs> the way to the infirmary. <laughs> Seriously, what is so wrong about that? Uh, they almost got me to a trap. <laughs> the camp leader had seen me. If anyone else had, uh, I would have m managed myself. So it was absolutely nothing. I gathered all my strength and knocked on the infirmary door. Hello, Pioneer. Uh, hello. I have a package for you. A bottle for your armpit. <laughs> I mean, a package for your cabinet. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> ah. She said. Hand it over. I handed her the package. The nurse stuffed into the desk drawer without looking. <laughs> you didn't open it, did you? Of course not. I blurted out. <laughs> Good boy. Alright, so I'll be... Go. Go, Pioneer. Wow. I closed the door behind me and let out a sigh. Ah. Oh my god. Are we at an hour yet? I don't even know if I have enough space for that. Alright. Of course, I have to cut out like... Like, at least five minutes worth. Whew. Alright. Where's Alyssa? I know you're here somewhere. I sit on the bench. Pioneers were running by. They were smiling and shouting merrily. Yes, the day was definitely a wonderful one. I glanced over the square and saw Lena approaching. I mean, it's not Alyssa. But... 
Relaxing? <laughs> Something like that. She sat, she sat by me and looked at the sky. Nice day, huh? <laughs> it is. It was a bit awkward. Linda seemed different. Uh, she was not embarrassed. Her face was not red. She was confident. So what about this that conversation? I told you everything already. Yeah, but... Oh, God, excuse me. <laughs> Just forget it. If you say so. We sat for a little longer in silence. I just can't... Not like that. So what do you think about Alyssa? Oh, shit. We got a wingman over here. What do I think about Alyssa? I repeated, lost in thought. I don't really know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're just so worried about yesterday. Well, of course. What does that, what does that have to do with this? That's not what that said. Oh, she got a little cute smile. <laughs> there's a there's a direct connection there. She laughed. <laughs> Let's assume. So what? Well, she. And again, I started thinking. Really, what do I think of her? Well, she. She can be arrogant sometimes. That's that's true. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what else can I say? Uh. Now that I think about it, I don't know Alyssa at all. That, the way she acts does annoy me sometimes. If you were wondering if I had any negative feelings about her, then no. I mean, she gets carried away sometimes, but, you know, not ev everyone has their quirks. Lena stared at me. Oh, her face changed. Did I, did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, the bell. Alright, see you. I didn't stop her, although I had a lot of questions left. But how do I ask them? And should I? I got up and slowly shuffled into the canteen. There are only a few spots left. Electronic and Shurik. <laughs> I actually lazily poking my fork at the buckwheat Akasha. Wait. Akasha, yeah. No incidents? Oh, no incidents? <laughs> no incidents. What it, What was in there anyway? Oh, you didn't open it, did you? <laughs> he stared. No. <laughs> Great. Come on. Finally finished my meal, I went out, struck by a set of world. <sighs> Took it a nap. <sighs> Would it be a bad idea? I headed to the cabin's leader cat the cabin's leader's cabin what? Uh, I felt that, like the summer sun was going to melt the whole planet together with all of its inhabitants. There was nowhere to hide. The sunlight seemed to reflect uh, from every surface looking up, you risk going blind. Using the last bit of strength I pulled the door handle and entered the room and fell into my bed. Okay. Uh, strangely, sleep deserted me. I was overwhelmed. I was super tired. And uh, you, all you could hear is the clicking. And I laughed. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Oh, God, this is important. Okay. Here's another theory. A solution to the problem of how I got here. Here's an, ex an explanation of what's going on here. And here is the true form of all those in inhabiting this place. I remember Linda saying, What do you think about Alyssa? Seriously, what do I think about her? What can I... What can I think of a person I've only known for a few days? Can I draw conclusions based on a couple of words and deeds? Although her deeds... <laughs> Any rel relevant organization would draw the right conclusion based on the monument bombing. Still though, I... Don't... Care. Maybe I really don't think anything of her. Can one be interested in a person who's not interesting? No, that... That's some sort of absurdity. A knock on the door. Come in. I was too lazy to get up, so I just sat up a little bit. Oh! Oh my god. I was gonna end the video because we're a little bit past an hour, but... You know. You know. Oh shoot, my hat's all weird and messed up. I didn't even realize, y'all didn't even tell me. It's been like 30 minutes. Uh, the door opened and I saw Alyssa. What a coincidence. She stopped, unsure and staring at me for a couple of seconds. I guess you were looking for the camp leader? Why would she though? No. <laughs> What's up then? Hold on. I gotta get this voice. You hear that music? Some shit's about to go down. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Voice acting. Voice acting. Voice acting. Voice acting. I feel like we're near the end, by the way. Unless there's another day and then... Because if there's another day and we're hitting up like an hour and 30 minutes, then I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Alright. 
I was looking for you. Uh, she sounded calm and not aggressive at all. I caught myself, thinking uh, I was not afraid of her and had no concerns when she behaved like that. Normally. What for? I don't want to make everything clear. She sat on the bed across from me. What exactly? I want to clean up my misunderstandings or miscommunications. Have you spoken with Lena today? Of course. About what? Oh, that's not right. Uh... Have you spoken with Lena today? No. Uh... Masarasha, I've got to get... Oh my god, we've got... Oh, I've run out of vodka. It's time to crush the American spies. I do not know what I'm talking about. Not really. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> Alyssa looks stiff and worried. She crossed her legs and bit her lip. You understand that I... I'm always assumed to be guilty whenever anything happens. Well, you always are g <laughs> guilty. <laughs> I said it thoughtlessly. A spark flashed in her eyes, but she kept talking calmly. Maybe... But in this case... Me and Lena would always like that. Even if she starts something, she's all innocent and I take all the blame. So you're saying that Lena actually... I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> Man. You never understand anything, do you? <laughs> she fumed. This is strange. I wouldn't call myself slow. Hmm. I mean, me personally, I'm, I'm slow. I'm... Um, so explain. I guess we get in the deets now. The deets are coming out. The deets. We about to do this. Alright. Um. You know Lena likes you, right? Uh, she went red after those words. No. I, I answered truthfully. <laughs> well, now you do. Uh, now I do. An uncomfortable silence overtook the room. I was processing what she said and listened to see my shirt on how to continue the conversation. Lena likes me. Could I have ever guessed? Unlikely. My intuition is usually good, but when it's about me and my feelings, it doesn't work at all. The weirdest thing was I accepted the news with almost no worries. Right at the moment I was listening to Alyssa, I was focused only on her. I can only think about the, the rest later. Uh, and she thinks I'm going to steal. <clears throat> and she thinks I'm going to steal you away from her. She thinks that uh, that all this time, understand? Oh God! Oh man! She thinks that all this time, understand? Even though it's always the other way around. Every, everyone looks at her because she's such an angel. And nobody pays attention to me. To them, I'm just a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> I just started screaming. Oh, hold on. Look, I... Please, please don't get upset. I don't think you're like that. I think of you like that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll just be laughing, but I am. I still had no idea what forced her to be so honest, and because it's day six, probably. Um, and I didn't know how to react. Moreover, I was not worried at all. It was like I was watching another episode of some TV series that was going on in the other room. Oh, oh god. I understand I was the reason for all of it, but today Lena said it was okay. <laughs> That's just like her. You've probably you probably realized that she's not even she's not a quite as she's she wants to see him. I started to guess. If I can do anything... Tell me. Alyssa raised her eyes. Only then... <laughs> oh, wait. Only then I did see she's been crying. Some sort of worry stirred with inside of me. I could not treat this conversation like I was an outsider anymore. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shit is happening today. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, do you like a li uh, do Okay, hold on. Do you like Lena or do you like me? A question like that, it's difficult to answer directly. If I could say no, I would have at the very moment. But I only had one chance for the other answer as well, and I didn't <laughs> I didn't know what to choose. Uh, you do know that the situation to resolve itself, of course, but. But, why but again? Why again? Why, why? Look, we're going nowhere with this. <laughs> well, answer then. Her face fell back to its usual old arrogance. I need time, I, 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 I need time to think. Well, go ahead and think. <laughs> Alyssa stood up abruptly and headed out. Don't forget, we'd have plans tonight. 
Uh, she raised on her th okay so basically i'm just using my own voice for her there's there's no specific accent i i try to do russian it's just not sticking so yeah <laughs> okay they were close behind her and i could before i could say anything plans man what kind of plans i'm a busy man the talk with Alyssa left a heavy impression on me so lennon likes me on its own the news could shock and startle, and I, above that, would be forced to make a difficult choice, a difficult one, to put it mildly, and any choice I make would be a mistake for someone. If only I could refuse them both. Although, I didn't like the word refuse itself. If I could just answer the question with a no, it would be easier, but I knew it wouldn't work like that. It couldn't work like that. After I talked to Alyssa, I realized nothing would ever be the same again. It can't be. No matter what happens. And I'll have to make a decision. After I rejected the no sense scenario, I needed to pick a positive solution. Of course. If, of course, I could live with it. Or what you mean to say is, if you can live with seeing this exciting conclusion in the next episode. <laughs> um, just like I said in my other videos, I'll be posting videos ASAP. Um, this is going to be a special hour long episode i guess i guess the last few episodes are gonna be an hour long if i can make them an hour long um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya